commuters in New South Wales are being warned to expect another round of public transport strikes, as the state government and Transport Workers Union Rail Union have failed to settle their long-running dispute. Rail, Tram and Bus Union RTBU, Secretary Alex Clausen threatened the NSW government with more strikes, claiming it had failed to come to the bargaining table. Clausen said the union had no choice but to plan various levels of industrial action, which would affect commuters later this month. Read more, Aussies lashed with seventh straight rate hike it will start slowly and gradually ramp up to more serious action that will ultimately affect our communities in approximately two weeks, Clausen said. Previously the union had threatened to turn off Opal card readers, which would cause a headache for the government while giving commuters free travel but that was no longer a possibility. Read more, biggest tick bed has ever seen found on dog in NSW The NSW government has taken away our ability to take turn off the Opal machines, action that doesn't disrupt commuters at all, which is incredibly disappointing, Clausen said. The action will begin with overtime bans and a refusal to work with contractors. After that, Clausen said the union would ban working on any train that's not Australian made, before stop work action would eventually follow. As always, we are very disappointed to have to disrupt the commuters yet again, he said. We want the safety issues fixed first and foremost and then yes, obviously we will want to negotiate fair working conditions and wages for our network. There are no dates set for the industrial action, but the union is required to give formal notice of 10 days before the commencement of any strikes. Read more, pharmacy worker arrested over Snapchat murders employee relations minister Damien Tudhope said there was an opportunity for Clausen's and union members to approve a generous offer from the government, which would see an increase in worker wages. The transport system in this state is not owned and run by the RTBU, Tudhope said. It is owned by the people, the commuters of this state. We need to run a proper rail system for their benefit, not for the benefit of the RTBU. The RTBU is demanding government decision makers, including the Premier or Cabinet members, come to the table to resolve the dispute. It says its priority is to get the new intercity fleet NIF, safety modification deed back in negotiations, which the union claims is lacking key features to protect train drivers and commuters. After, they plan to negotiate higher wages and improved conditions for workers. The action is occurring while the RTBU and the NSW government wait for an outcome on their case, which is currently before the federal court. Nine News has contacted the NSW government's Employee Relations Office for comment.